Callfire's cloud call center campaigns will act as your personal assistant. It will dial down a list of numbers that you upload and connect you to live answers or answering machines. There are two separate login processes. The first, the admin login, is used to create campaigns. The second, agent's login, is used to log in to a cloud call center campaign that you've already created. There are three types of cloud call center campaign that you can create. The light, standard, and pro. The main features that separate the three types of campaign are the ability to dial more than one call at once. That is, you can have Callfire dial two numbers on your list at once and connect you to the first call. The smart drop feature, which will allow you to leave a pre-recorded message for the answering machines with the click of a button and the ability to record all of the phone calls on your campaign. I'm going to create a standard level campaign. This is the campaign details page. We need to give our campaign a name and this is how we will refer to it on our campaigns dashboard. We'll call this campaign My First Campaign. You can specify the caller ID that will appear on the phones that Callfire dials on this campaign. This can be any number associated with you or your organization. You get to set up a passcode for this campaign. This is what you'll use to log in to your campaign as an agent. The passcode can be whatever you like. It doesn't need to be the same as your admin passcode, but it is case sensitive. If you want to record all of the calls in the campaign, you'll click on the radio button for yes to the right of record calls. Machine skip answering machine avoidance feature will use Callfire's answering machine detection to differentiate between a live answer and an answering machine. If you don't want to leave messages for answering machines on a campaign, you can simply end the call when you're connected to an answering machine and then click on next call to move on to the next call. That is quicker than using the machine skip answering machine avoidance feature. If you'd like to have the ability to transfer calls where you're logged in to a cloud call center campaign, you want to click on yes next to the transfer option. Call transfers are billed at 3.5 cents per minute and that's a separate charge. As soon as we have the details set, let's click on the green button to move on to the next page. On this page, we'll set the sound file that we want to use for our smart drop button. We can create a new sound file or upload a sound file that we have saved on our computer. To do this, we click on the pick sound button. We can either choose the sound file that we have saved on the website or we can create a new sound file by clicking over to the record slash upload a message tab. We have two options to create a sound file. We can use Callfire's voice recording utility to record a message over the phone or we can upload a sound file that we have saved on our computer. As soon as we have a file uploaded or recorded we click back over to choose messages and we click on the blue choose button to the left of the sound file. As soon as we have the sound file chosen, let's click on the green button to move on to the next page. On this page, we'll type out the script that we want to have in front of us. You can either type out your script on this page, or you can cut and paste text from a word processor. As soon as you have your script entered, we can move on. On this page, we'll set up multiple choice questions to help us disposition our calls. To create a multiple choice question, type out your question in the text field to the right of question one. This can be a question or a prompt. For example, we could write, please disposition this call, and then click on add. And a text field for an answer will come down automatically. We can have as many multiple choice questions and as many answers to those questions as we like. As possible answers to our first multiple choice question, we'll put good lead, not interested, and call back later. Since we can have as many multiple choice questions as we like, you might take these multiple choice questions to be poll questions that your agents need to ask the calls in the campaign. To add new multiple choice questions, just type out the appropriate question in the text field next to question two. Click on add. A text field for the answers to question two will come down automatically. And you'll see after we add question two, a possible question three comes down automatically. If we're satisfied with our questions at this point, we can move on to the next screen right away. 
or we can continue to add multiple choice questions. We also have the option for another type of question, and that's a text field question. We can type out a question or a prompt, and we'll have a field to write in a text freeform answer. When we have all of our questions entered, we can move on to the next page. On this page, we will review the legal agreement, type out initials, and type I agree to indicate that we accept the legal agreement. Then click on Submit Campaign. Now our campaign is created. We can upload our list of numbers at this point, or we can do that at a later time. If we're ready to add our numbers right away, let's follow the link that says Add Phone Numbers to this campaign. And on this page, we can browse for a CSV or Excel file that we have saved on our computer. As soon as we have our numbers uploaded, we'll go back to our campaign's dashboard where we'll see the campaign that we just created at the top of our finished and stopped campaigns list. Before we log in as an agent, we'll need to start the campaign on our campaign's dashboard. To start the campaign, either click on the round green icon to the left of the campaign name so that the status changes to running. Or you can put a check in the checkbox to the left of the campaign name and select Start Campaign from the Campaign Control drop-down menu. And then click Go. As soon as your campaign's running, we can go back to the home page, callfire.com, and follow the Agents login link to log in as an agent to start our campaign. This is a look at the Agents login screen. Callfire has two distinct logins. One, an admin login, which you've just created, to log in and create campaigns. The other, the agent's login, is specific to a cloud call center campaign. After you've created a cloud call center campaign, you go to the agent's login screen. To log into a campaign, we type in the campaign name or ID. I'll show you the name for a demo campaign that you can log into to simulate the process of running Callfire's auto dialer. The name is Callfire Demo. You'll type in the phone number for the phone that you want to speak on during the campaign. This can be any type of phone. You'll type in the campaign passcode, which you will specify when you create the campaign. The passcode for this demo campaign is demo, all lowercase, D-E-M-O. You'll type in your email address, and you'll choose the hold music, the music that you'll hear while Callfire is dialing. After you have all this filled out, you'll click on Next, and you'll receive a call from Callfire right away. When you pick up the call, a recorded voice will read you an agent ID number that you will input on this screen. After you input the agent ID number and click on Login, the auto dialer will start right away. To control Callfire's auto dialer, you click on Next Call, End This Call, or a special button you'll have to leave a pre-recorded message for answering machines, the Smart Drop button. When you're done talking to a call, click on End This Call. And when you're ready for the next call, of course, click Next Call. Callfire's auto dialer will dial the next call on your list. And when you're connected, you will see Connected in the upper right-hand corner. The agent interface also has the option for a script that you can create when you set up a campaign and a series of multiple choice questions that can be helpful in dispositioning your calls.